Is your edit delay that bad you can't edit a pyramid? Do you struggle to make edits and your friends make fun of you? Bruh. And is your controller's input delay that bad that it flies to space and comes back so that you miss your shot by the time you've aimed in? Well, with the tips in today's video so secret, they're locked away on some desert island in the middle of Narnia. And your edit delay will be that minimal that you'll just destroy all your friends that were laughing at you. Oh yeah, that's right, baby. You get zero edit delay now. So yeah, with these tips, let's jump straight into it. So I actually struggled with the input delay for so long and it was so bad on my controller And I just had to do something about it as I was fed up with always lagging and being killed just because I have bad input delay So yeah, these tips hit close to home with me and they're all super authentic So let's not waste any time and jump straight into them But yeah, quickly for the YouTube algorithm, please drop a like, it helps so much you don't understand Also subscribe if you want more console tips in the future as I'm your man And you may as well subscribe as you can always unsubscribe And I guarantee you'll regret it if you don't subscribe so you may as well do it The first tip is very simple and recently I discovered it and it was super easy to do And it minimizes it instantly almost by half Now, this is achievable on console and PC. Ooh. And as you can see, I'm definitely taking advantage of it right now, as recently my input delay has been feeling so good, I can double edit, triple edit, do whatever I want. And you guys will feel just like that as soon as you hear the secret tip. Oh my god. And it's honestly so simple that anyone can do it straight away within literally 30 seconds. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Let's go. And I've been using this for over a week and just in public games, it's just given me that extra edge on other players and maybe destroy the pros that I can never do before. And that's why this first tip is only doable on console, and that's why I can't wait to tell you guys it, as it is exclusive to you console players. Oh my god. So Woods, oh. what is this you're asking yourself, and why are you not telling me? Well, it's because it's a huge secret. And I studied a computer programming course for a long time. And what I've done is I've applied similar things to a PC, but to a console instead. And actually managed to push the boundaries and get you a lower input delay. Now this first thing, what it is, I'll start to explain to you. Is by reducing the amount of things that your console actually has to do while playing the game. And now what this is going to do in turn for you is free up more space to dedicate just to your Fortnite. So that you get more overall input delay that's lower and it way more smooth. And what is it you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you after I dumpster on that kid there. Let's go. Oh my god. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is audio. Now, Woods, why is audio going to affect my input delay? Well, now, unless you have the best ears in the world, then you really can't usually tell the difference between low and good quality audio. Like, it's just a scientific proven fact. So what I've done is I've applied this information because on my PC, I usually play with a lower quality of sound. There's actually still this option on console. Now, don't get me wrong. I sound crazy, but just hear me out and listen up. Bang, let's go, baby. So overall, to wrap up tip number one, is literally just by playing with a lower quality of audio, which you can find it in your Fortnite settings or on your console settings, and you will not hear a difference, I can promise you that. And for some reason, it frees up so much space in your game rather than dedicating it to good quality audio. You get better frames and also lower input delay. But it's kind of whack, I know, so that's why tip two is going to fix that and still give you lower input delay. Oh my god. Oh my god. So coming in straight with number tip two, it's actually going to be about starting something fresh, but what is it that you're starting fresh is the question. Now, as you guys know, probably by the word fresh, you know, it usually means fresh feels good, lower input delay. Now, how can you apply this to Fortnite and make things feel fresh? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be telling you in tip number two. Oh my god, what the hell did I even do just there? Now, this tip actually originated quite a long time ago, but no one's been talking about it for a while. So, I'm bringing it back up to date so that you guys can lower your input delay. As there's really not many options for you console players. Oh my god, don't I'm going to tell you guys what it is after this next kill. Oh 
Oh my god, I fell straight into that one. So yes, the second tip is basically about starting a new account. Now, what's why would I start a new account? I have a perfectly good one I play on. Well, that's the question, and I'll be telling you why in the second tip. Because trust me, it really helps. But just creating a new account isn't going to work, and there's something special you have to do when you create it for it to work. So what is this special thing you ask, Woods? Well, I'm going to tell you just after his next kill. Oh my god, destroyed. So by starting a new account, basically it's because when you have a Fortnite account with a lot of skins on it, Fortnite is actually constantly loading in all of these skins when you're playing a game. Now I know, right, why would they be doing that? Well, I don't know and I can't explain it either, but I just know it. Well, it's just a fact. So basically by creating a new account, you'll always realize that for some reason it feels a little bit better. And that's why sometimes for videos, I actually play on a new account, just get a new account's feeling and it feels super fresh. So trust me, even if you don't believe me, just try it out. Make a new PSN account, make a new Xbox account, make a new Epic account, whatever you gotta do. Put your settings across from what they used to be, and you will never regret creating a new account, trust me. Make sure you get a cheeky photo of all your settings so that you don't forget them, of course, when you go to transfer them across. But you guys know those two secrets, but you don't know the last one that is even more secret. Now, this one, I personally have been keeping a secret all the time I've been using it because it's just too good, and I don't want anyone else to be taking advantage of it because I found it and it's a secret. So what is tip number three? Well, don't worry, I'm going to tell you soon. Oh my god, bro. So I see not enough of you guys taking advantage of this actual tip, so I thought I'm gonna bring it up. And for some reason, I seem to be the only one doing it. <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm just unstoppable with these lower input settings. So what let's talk about number three. Now, basically, when I go on every single day, I do this something special trick that actually resets my controller fully and gets me down to the lowest input today possible. Oh my. Now, I've been doing it literally every single morning when I get on, and if sometimes I don't do it, I can definitely tell the difference. So you gotta make sure you always do this special tip as soon as you get on in the mornings or whenever you start to play. So close. Oh my god, I hit a 360 in there. Oh my god. There's actually two parts to tip number three. The first part is actually to do with something called a foot controller. Now, I know Woods, I'd have a foot controller. Yeah, well, literally no one does, but it doesn't matter. It's just to make sure that actually Fortnite think you have one of these controllers. Because with these foot controllers, it actually gives you slightly lower input today if it believes you're playing on one. Now, how can you make it think you're playing on one of these? Well, simple. Ooh, let's go. Now, I hate giving out settings, but basically, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings and find the thing called a foot controller. Then, you're going to go ahead and turn it on and set it down to 1%. If it's already on like it should be, then all you got to do each day is basically turn it off, then put it back on after you apply it. But, this tip is completely useless if you don't potter it up with the second part to tip number three. Basically, lowering your edit hold time, which is basically making your input delay a bit faster for editing. Because last one will help you with aiming and actually building overall. But this last one will give you a bit of a lower edit delay, which is a slightly different thing. So edit hold time is just as annoying as input delay because basically with edit hold time is the distance between when you could hit the edit button and you can actually select it. It's super important, so let's learn about it. So yeah, basically what we're gonna want to do for this next part is by turning off a thing called edit hold time As definitely you guys need to be making sure you have a single edit bind Now a single edit bind is literally just as simple as using your left stick to click and then edit or any button that literally is one press to edit Make sure you have that first and then we can talk about edit hold time Yeah, even though you no longer use edit hold time, it still actually takes into account for the single edit bind. So make sure your edit hold time is always on the lowest it can actually possibly be, because it's actually sometimes used instead of the actual edit bind. So that's saying with your edit hold time, make sure you turn that off every time and turn that back on, and then make sure it's as low as possible, even if you don't use it. Because basically, it's going to mean that when you go to edit, when you click it and select it, it's going to be lower and faster each time. But yeah, guys, other than that, it's been it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like. I appreciate that a lot for the algorithm. And subscribe. You don't understand how much subscribing actually helps us so much. And comment real one down below if you made it to the end so I know that you're a real one and I'll heart your comment. Also, shout out to Jason TV. If you want to shout out just like this, then comment 120k down below the most times for a chance to be shout out next video. So go down there and spam 120k. Other than that, guys, watch another video and I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.